All right, YouTube. Um, here you go. I got a new video for you today. I think it's pretty cool. I really like it. I'm gonna tell you what this is. This is uh, my Droid 3, and I have installed um, the Razer M launcher along with the Weather Widget Circle Weather Widget. So let me just let me just show you some of the features and stuff we have on this thing. Okay. Um, so this is the launcher for the Razer M. So it actually has quick toggles when you scroll all the way to the left, um, and you have all your quick toggles. You have your weather widget, which you can change your clock, change your weather locations, and you can change your battery percentage and go into settings, do some stuff there. So it is fully functional from what I can see. Um, and then if you scroll the way to your right, you can add more pages or start with a template. Um, so, and then also app drawer, you also have this favorite feature for favorite apps if you want to put them in there. Um, like I said, I play with this, this all works really well. Um, but let me tell you how to do it. Um, I think it's really cool. Base, pretty simple, pretty simple. All you do is flash a, a zip in recovery. But uh, let me kind of show you. Um, this is actually on my Droid 3. Um, and I actually flashed this on top of CM10, Kexic CM10. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You should be able to flash this zip in any recovery. Um, and I think on any device, probably running Ice Cream Sandwich or higher. Um, and it just replaces your launcher. It adds a circle widget, which is your weather widget. And uh, a couple other things in there to make it function. Um, but like I said, I've, I've tested this only on the Droid 3 right now. Using Kexic um, and Safe Strap Recovery. But go ahead and uh, test it on anything else you guys got. I'm going to test it on another one probably after this video on my Droid X2 and see if it works on there. Um, but so far, so good. I haven't had any problems with it. So let me show you how to do it. Basically, you're going to uh, turn off and you're going to reboot. And you're going to reboot into recovery. Um, however you guys enter recovery on your device, go ahead and do that. Get in recovery. I'm using Torp Recovery on this one. Um, so this is be using Safe Strap 3 with Torp, Torp Recovery in it. So I'm going to let this thing reboot, get into Torp Recovery, and I'll kind of show you how to set it up here. All right, here we go. We're in Safe Strap 3 or Torp Recovery here. And um, first thing I would do is, like I said, I'd go in and make a backup. I actually made one just in case. Um, I'm also on ROM slot 1. It shouldn't matter what ROM you're on, um, but that's where I am which it was my CM10 Kexic build. Um, like I said, don't worry about your ROM slot. If you just have torp or if you just have clockwork mod recovery or whatever, go ahead and just make a backup. And then uh, you want to wipe. So you want to wipe Cash. You want to wipe Delvic. All right. And then you want to go back and you want to go to install. So make sure you already have the uh, zip in my video description. Uh, on your SD card. So just go and install. Find where you put that zip. I put mine in Kexic. So right down here it says Razer M Launcher Plus Circle Zip. So you click on it. Make sure it still says it right here. And then you swipe to flash. So it flashes really, really quite quickly. You can see it's already done. And then you reboot system. Um, what I found the first time I did this, at least on this device, it actually went in and it rebooted system and it uh, upgraded my Android applications because I wiped cache and Delvic and then it went to start and it boot looped. Um, so don't be worried if it boot loops because what I did is I let it boot loop once and I wanted to see if it was going to continue to boot loop and it actually didn't. The first time it, it boot looped and then the second time it booted up and everything came up. So just be really uh, patient on it and it may boot loop it may not on you but at least let it boot loop two maybe three times just to make sure there's something tr tr truly wrong and if there is then just go ahead and restore your android backup you made and it won't be a big deal you can just boot into recovery and restore it and you'll be back to where you were you know you have what a 15 minute process maybe to figure out if it works on your device or not so um like i said this is droid 3 um i am running chronogen mod sigen mod whatever you say it CM10 and I just installed the 
flashable zip for the Razer M launcher and circle widget. So it's going to go through this really quick. I'm going to let it go through it. Um, if it starts to boot loop, I'm going to show you. I think it's just going to take this time. We'll see. But uh, let me pause. All right, it's finished upgrading. Now it's starting apps. And let's see if we, we can get this thing to work or not. And there we go. Okay. So, I'll let this finish preparing my SD cards. Activation screen only came up because this phone's not activated, so don't worry about it. It won't happen for you. Um, so, we're going to go into here, and we're going to slide over. And voila. Okay, so there it is. You can see your quick settings when you go to the left. And you can see your other stuff there. Did not wipe data, so all my data is still exactly how it was. All my apps are still in the app drawer. Everything is still there. And that is it. Now you have a circle widget. And you are good to go. So, pretty, uh, pretty slick. I really like it. I'm going to play with some other phones and see if I can get it on there. I think this is pretty sweet looking. I even do like this Razer M uh, launcher. It's pretty cool also. So that's it, guys. That's how you do it. Like I said, I'm going to put links in the video description. Uh, also, please give me a thumbs up if you guys like this. I like the thumbs up. It's nice seeing those on there. I had a thumbs down last time, and I was very sad. So uh, thanks for uh, checking this, guys, this out, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks.